Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Adolescence. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a special one. It's been a long time since the brand Parfum Cortana has released a fragrance. And here we have a brand new release for 2022. As of the time that I'm publishing this video, I believe pre-orders are made available on the website. All the links are gonna be down below. This is the new fragrance. It is a gasoline accord based fragrance. It's called Hierofante. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's review on Hierofante by Parfum Cortana, and I tell you all about this fragrance, the notes, the nose, the performance, longevity, the inspiration, so on and so forth, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's video, or if I gave you the opportunity to learn about a brand new fragrance today. Now, of course, the founder of the brand, the creative director, and basically the mastermind behind this operation is Joseph Cortana. He's a close friend of mine. He's incredibly talented. He's very smart, very involved in the perfume industry. Parfum Cortana has some of my favorite fragrances from Digitalis to Wolf Spain to Mandrake. And I'm gonna leave links to those um, reviews down below if you're interested in checking them out. But here we have the brand new release. This this one is composed by Luca Maffei. If you're not familiar with his work, he's done some incredible fragrances for Mask Milano and many other brands. And this one is called Hierofante. Now that's the Italian word for hierophant. And the hierophant, especially in ancient Grecian tradition or folklore, is the priest who oversaw the initiation ritual of Persephone, of somebody entering uh, her cult, basically. And I know that in tarot, the keys at the bottom represent the balance between the conscious and the subconscious mind, and they also represent the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Now, I know Joseph Cortana was actually inspired when he took a trip back in 2018 up to the Catskill Mountains in his roadster, and he had this vision of a, a rocket ship traveling to the stars and back, and so this fragrance actually starts off very heavy, and it becomes lighter over time, so it, it's very full and dense in the opening, and then it becomes a little bit more ethereal because he wanted to mimic that ascension, and so when he contacted perfumer Luca Maffei about three and a half years ago, that's how long this fragrance has been in development. They got it perfect because he felt as though, despite the fact that he used to wear uh, DKNY's unleaded back in the 90s and you know since then it's been discontinued, he felt as though there hasn't been a proper gasoline accord fragrance released on the market. So here we have one that has a gasoline accord. It has a smoky leather accord. It has suede in the opening. There's also golden amber and Haitian vetiver in the dry down, a little bit of cashmere on as well. So this is a gourmand take on leather and gasoline. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, but let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. Now, right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get that gasoline accord. Now, I know there are some weird people like me out there. I actually do like the smell of a lot of peculiar things, gasoline being one of them. And it has this really authentic gasoline accord in the opening. So the perfumer Luca Maffei did an incredible job with this one. And then as you give it a chance to dry down, I'm, I'm, I'm talking only like five minutes into the development and progression of the fragrance, you are going to get that leather note. Now it is suede leather in the opening and it has a really unique olfactive texture to it, but you get a little bit of like the smoky leather as well. Maybe a touch of birch to add that slight peculiar smokiness to it. And it really creates this beautiful leather fragrance. Now, in terms of the leather, the best way that I can describe it, it's a leather that is similar to Bulgari Black. It's one that you'll also find in a BDK Parfum fragrance called Creme de Queer. And it's also similar to Ink 
by Acro. In terms of the leather, now this fragrance definitely does its own thing because in the dry down, you're gonna get the Haitian vetiver, which adds this really nice earthy touch in the dry down. And you're also going to get that golden amber accord, which is a little balsamic, a little resinous. It has a touch of sweetness. You know, Joseph Cortana was actually going for a gourmand take on leather or gasoline, and he definitely accomplishes that. Now, here's the thing. You're gonna get a perfume that is like 80% leather, 20% sweet. So if you're purchasing this fragrance thinking that it's going to be this, you know, luscious, sweet, uh, gourmand perfume, it's not that. It just, it's a leather perfume with a touch of sweetness. So you have to bear that in mind. This is going to be predominantly leather. And I, for one, am a huge fan of the leather that is used in here. A little bit of spiciness in the opening with a touch of coriander, but it's a clean spiciness. It's very hard to describe. It has this clean effervescence in the opening, very bright and sparkling. And then, you know, a few minutes later, it dries down to this smoky, smooth leather accord with a touch of gasoline of course so it won't remind you of being at the gas station because there's so much more happening in here it's very cleverly combining all of these ingredients to give you this dark sophisticated almost like metaphysical perfume i know that's hard to describe but there's so much going on in here and it's really one of these olfactive experiences that are ineffable so you really have to put your nose on it metaphorically speaking so that you can truly understand the magic that is working its way throughout this composition this is precisely the leather fragrance that i enjoy smelling there's some really dark and aggressive leather fragrances out there that's not what you're gonna get from it. And it's funny because thinking of notes like vetiver and gasoline and birch and whatever, you would think that this is gonna be more on the aggressive and rough and tumble side of things, but it's really not. This is a very smooth, suede, very welcoming fragrance with the cashmere on, also adds a little bit of that smooth, creamy touch in the base. You really gotta try this fragrance and it is available now. And they do have um, a travel size if you're looking for an inexpensive option, an affordable option. All of the links are going to be down below. Yerofante by Parfum Cortana is an amazing fragrance and one that I think is going to get a ton of use from me this autumn and winter. And I think it's perfect for summer nights as well. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, while I was able to compare it to fragrances like Bulgari Black, Creme de Queer by BDK Parfum, Ink by Acro, this is unique in the sense that it has that sweet, ambery, dried down a little balsamic it has this really bright fizzy gasoline accord in the opening so i personally love the progression of notes that i get from this fragrance and i also think the artwork and the concept of it this one is inspired by 2001 a space odyssey in terms of the artwork so you're going to see the spaceman in the image and everything really beautifully done and somebody like joseph cortana make sure that there is crisp attention to detail in everything that he does and i love that about this brand even when you're taking a look at some of the older bottles with that sort of apothecary style blue tint to them beautifully done longevity on this one is eight to nine hours projection is great for the first hour of application it did radiate beyond an arm's length it started to sit closer to the skin right around hour six or seven right around hour nine or ten it disappeared in terms of the versatility perfectly unisex you can dress this one up you can dress it down i think especially if you're buying the travel size it's affordable enough that you can afford to wear this one on a casual basis although i think it would work really well in a formal scenario because of the luxuriousness of the leather that i perceive in here i think anybody of any age could enjoy this one and i think this one would probably work best in the autumn and winter but if you're wearing it on a cool evening especially if you're going to wear it indoors in a climate controlled environment you you can wear this one whenever you'd like. In terms of the presentation, I love this dark red bottle with the gold hardware, and I think it looks so classy. And honestly, I do have to take a moment to say, Joseph Cortana, I'm very proud of you. Congratulations on everything that you've done. And I hope this is a huge hit because it's an awesome fragrance. Love the way that it smells. And thank you so much for putting it out there into the world and giving me the opportunity to review it. There you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was my review on Yero Fante by Parfum Cortana. If you've tried any fragrance from the brand, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. I would definitely appreciate it. Also, please let me know what about 
this review you found the most interesting or the most intriguing, leave a comment. I'm always interested in reading what you have to say and I love interacting with my subscribers. Please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it if you took something of value from today's review. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do publish these daily videos. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if I gave you the opportunity to learn about a brand new fragrance today. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.